Oh fuck! <laughs> Come on, guys! Okay. Come on! Uh, it's, it's almost it was already like pulled up. This. I just panicked for no reason. Watching your Foogie. Your Foogie deck is wrong. Hi, buddy. Hope everyone's having a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. Where you are. Welcome to the Love Never Dies YA version fan club. Oh, fuck. <laughs> is that where we are now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're, wow. we're, oh no. We, yeah, uh, yeah uh, we we heard about Fan of the Opera YA, so we're really excited for Love Never Dies YA version. Wow. <laughs> Let me it was uh, You mean you wouldn't want to see the train wreck, Preppy? Oh, of course I would. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, anyway, but that's a lie. Actually, we're we're here for Seven Scarlet as always. Seven um, Scarlet. Yeah, Seven Scarlet. <laughs> that's the name of the game. Seven Scarlet. Yeah, Seven Scarlet. Um. Seven. Anyway, <laughs> uh, my name's Nur, and I voice Green Day Day Green, and <laughs> oh my god, and, and I handle narration. <laughs> My my name is Ten Ten Arsene, and I voice Sasuke. So Sosuke, God damn it, Sosuke. Sosuke. Karasuma Chikage and Susaso Yua. We're really in Japan now. Whoa. My name is Macha, and I voice Isora Amari, Sukuyomi Kagura, and Kyoji. Wait, Kyoji. Kyoji Murakumo. I did it. You did it. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Moji, and I will be voicing Toe, Toa, uh, Kushinada, uh, Yuzuki, Murakumo, and Yuki. And I'm Brevi, and I voice Hino Kagutsuchi, Makiko Gamo, and Yasuhisa Kuku. <laughs> that one. We know how uh -huh. to speak. <laughs> my bad. We know how to read Ramaji, right? <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I think all of us are gonna fuck up something. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's been a long time since I last studied Japanese. Yep, yep. Japan is on the phone. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. no! Oh, they're not gonna like us. I mean, Italy already doesn't like us anyway. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> hey! No. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, last, last time... I'm gonna try and summarize this as best I can. I haven't. I don't remember what we did, but we met. We went Not to much. the town and we met the the club. Group meeting <laughs> exercises. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We had a group exercises or whatever. Um, it's time to offend Germany. No, <laughs> God, no, oh, no, man. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sigh. I sit down on my bed and let out a long sigh. The members of the Okaz Okanazato Supernatural Club are all really nice. What a relief! But that legend. Hidden Temple? <laughs> oh, we're flashing back. Thank God yep. we're doing this, I guess. Yeah. Seems like uh, the, a point of revival. Uh, what if it's exactly like normal humans? Uh, the only thing that uh, we, we have to continue doing is uh, something to remain here. What do they have to do? Oh, first, um, I want to remind you that this is just a wedding, so please do not take it seriously. We know that, but now I'm really curious, so tell us already. The revenants look no different from humans, but their bodies are only temporary. So in order to continue to exist, they have to keep killing. They must murder the living for all of eternity. K keep killing? Like, murder the, like, living? Yeah, they're revenants, so like, they're not truly alive, which means that their bodies are nothing more than just an empty vessel. Therefore, they must continue filling that vessel with life. To do that, they kill the humans and steal their life force. 
After they steal that white force, they kill another human for more. The only way for a revenant to remain in this world is to repeat that process. Like I said. I heard that all well before. <laughs> Wait, god damn, I read that remember. I said that the... What the what? The god damn Violacia was created by... Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Why you want a guy? He my curse. <laughs> you want a Gahime? Who's that? <laughs> a goddess from Japanese mythology who has a gift of eternal life. She cursed the one who betrayed her. Supposedly that's why humans have short lifespans. And so does my my cyber truck has a limited <laughs> lifespan though. That grudge causes the Violacia to bloom in the summer, creating revenants who divide the limited amount of life. At least I think that's how it goes. Oh, you are very well informed. You're pretty smart. My teacher would probably give you a widow sticker, like <gasps> a gold star or something. Whoa. Um, yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> um, it said the Violacia originated with the legend of the Kodohana Sayuko Sakuya. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the dictionary jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Whoa! Someone it's open a the book. <laughs> Oh, no! It's a sad flower that creates revenants who can live forever to make up for the fact that humans were unable to attain eternal wife. Eternal wife? Eternal wow. wife? Wow. Eternal wife? Oh. Hmm. We need that. Killer need zombies, that. huh? The Legend of the Revenant sounds like it would be a cool horror movie. Well, it is just a legend, um, but I've been hearing it since I'm a kid. I'm like really not a child anymore. I'm in middle school. Um, I don't mean to keep reminding you, but you're still kind of a tiny little baby man, you know? Um, your mom is a tiny little baby man. <laughs> what the mom. fuck? <laughs> Um, I do uh, there are some old timers who still seriously believe in it. Like, maybe this guy over here, I think he's pretty old. Hey, this kid is rude as hell. Now, now. Uh, the legend says that the Revenant returned to life after the weenie season ends. Our summer festival is coming up pretty soon. I've heard that it is used to to be held to appease the revenants. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Fucking paragraph for everything. We're finally talking about how something befitting the supernatural club. Now that the meeting is coming to an end, right, Kushinada? <laughs> um, why do revenants come back to life? Uh, who knows? Uh, it's merely a legend, so there's no need to be logical for it to make any sense at all, really. Like my Cybertron. <laughs> legend? Uh, a lot of the old country towns have similar legends. I don't think there's any point in trying to think more deeply about it. Fuck. <laughs> Right? I've heard that story so many times since I was a kid that my ears hurt when someone else tells it. It's not just interesting to me anymore. It's just not interesting. You've heard it since you were a kid? Oh, well, uh, I mean, you can hear stories like it, uh, what the fuck? You can hear stories <laughs> like it just about anywhere, right? So that's not surprising. Uh, um... Since we've taken a picture, I'm going to go. And I have to go to bed. I'm rather yeah. eepy. Eepy? Yeah, me, 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 honk, shoo, honk, shoo, all that jazz. Yeah, I think we'll. I'll leave soon, uh, too. I've got a lot to do tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Like opening, cleaning, every, every goddamn thing in this place. Hey, do you want to head up too? We still have to be up early tomorrow, and I still have to take a freaking bath. Don't swipe things up. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. Don't wait till bedbugs bite. Yeehaw, I'm getting my Cybertruck. 
I think why are you about... driving through the gate? Why are you driving through the fences? You're going to you break your cyber there? truck. <laughs> I think about the cyber truck and what we were all just talking about when I changed to my pajamas when there's a loud knock at the door, which makes me jump a little. Heck's gonna live to you. Who could could it be this late at night? <laughs> Shit, I don't, oh no. I'm oh, sorry, it's me. As if reading my mind, the person who knocked calls out. It's a familiar voice, so I open the door. Come on, be right, be right, be right. Yeah! yeah! Woo! So I like to bother you so late. G-A. What is it, Yua? F steak. We decided oh. on like on the shifts rather hastily like earlier, so I just wanted to make sure like that you're okay with it. Has you an F steak? Thank you. You have to be in the lobby at like six a.m. before the morning shift, so I felt a little guilty forcing that on you if you didn't want to like do it. It's okay. I'm a morning person. I'll be sure to work hard tomorrow. Okay, but like there's a difference between a morning person and like waking up for a 6 a.m. <laughs> shift. Thank goodness. Also, like there's one more thing here. A paper bag? What's inside it? Vodka. Oh, delicious. We like loan this out to people who like stay at the hotel. It's a, I kept the best just for you. Open up later and see like what brand of vodka I gave you. <laughs> oh man, I hope it's not the shitty kind. It's not the gallon That's jug, like, is all... it? No! <laughs> Have a good night, and like, see you tomorrow! Yu pushes the paper bag into my hands and disappears without explaining a thing. <laughs> I open the beautifully folded paper bag at once. Oh, Yukata! It's beautiful. The color and pattern are both exactly to my liking, too. She brought this up just for me. I'm happy, but will I have a chance to wear it? Ellipses. Ah, I'm so tired. The instant I'm alone, drowsiness overcomes me. Perhaps because I'm tired from the long journey or because I was so nervous about the meeting. I'll go to Eep now and take a bath in the morning. I throw myself on the bed and drift off to sleep in seconds. I wish that were me. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what a lucky woman. Our second day in Okonozato. You know when I wake up early. So to be more precise, I wake up early, then go wake up Hino, who overslept for once. We barely make it to the lobby in time. We both start our day by cleaning the hotel. The Harinkan Hotel is small. There are only seven rooms in total. Although it seems like it's still too many rooms for the staff to handle. It's rare for all the rooms to be full, even during summer break. This, this might be solely thanks to the Okunozato Supernatural Club. It was about a month ago, uh, our boss, Yuzuki Murakumo, yelled about the staff members not being very useful, and then he fired most of them. Wow. New Sprite! Yeah. <laughs> oh no, oh, she's so sprite. cute! He's in her uniform! Oh, she's so cute. Oh. Uh, only Mr. Sano and I were left. We had no choice but to hire port timers and manage the crisis to the best we could. And for some reason, we are here. We're full this week. Thank you so much for helping us out. Hey, where do you get off completely ignoring me like that? Your butt. <laughs> You're so <Whoa>. rude. <laughs> well, that was not my intention. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened there. But I apologize <laughs> if I ever made you feel that way, you butt. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, some food has just arrived in the lobby. Could you please deserve for that to Isora? Uh, somebody come get this sassy lost child. <laughs> I'm really tired of him. And couldn't you get Isora to grab it? He's a full-time staff member after all. Isora's get busy getting ready for the barbecue. Go get it for him. Please. <sighs> Fine. It seems like you have a way of getting Mr. Kagetsuchi to work. Well then, we'll just have to head to the Wobby as well. This might be Sora. Riku! <laughs> oh, uh, huh? Oh, it's, it's Yua. <laughs> Good morning, Yua! <laughs> Oh, looks like you're, like, doing a great job. 
Who's that, like, Kingdom Hearts character earlier? <laughs> There's a cosplayer in here, I don't know why. Oh, okay. Oh, good morning, Mr. Sano. You're up all way today, that's weird. Yeah, like, I felt bad making the newbies, like, do all the work or, like, something like that. He hasn't been pushing you, like, too hard, has he? You want me to help? No, I'm fine. It feels nice to get moving so early in the morning. What happened to your sprite? You're sure <laughs> optimistic. I love people like that. On the other hand, like, the newbie carrying those jars over there has been stifling yawn, like, after yawn. Hey, did you guys see that dude in, like, the trench coat walking around? He kept yelling about, like, Kingdom Hearts. See? Know. Hey, quit yawning over there and, like, wear a shirt that says, like, the full word. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can read it well enough. <laughs> Peace out. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, but as a young person, it's my privilege to be tired in the morning. Maybe you should find some inner peace. <laughs> Quit your, like, rambling. The kitchen's over there. Let's go get a move on. T talk about Draconian. I'll remember this. You hear? You're on a list. <laughs> what are you talking about? One. Dragons and stuff. <laughs> Ugh, what a nerd. He seems like he's got some, like, backbone. He'll definitely be useful. Hmm. Still, though. Yua looks at me. What's wrong? My, my sprite came back. Oh, look at you. A uniform really, like, suits you. It's the same one I have, but it looks much better on you. Mine also doesn't have, like, a flower, I think. So what do you think? Our uniform's pretty great, right? But it's almost too cute. It's a little embarrassing. You're so pure. I think I know why Kagusuchi has a thing for you. Huh? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, no, she's dumb. <laughs> oh, oh God, nothing. Girl. Girls like you who look good in anything are practically a crime, that's all. Oh, that's right. The Yukata I picked out for me yesterday is really cute too. Thanks! You're like, welcome. In this town, most people wear Yukata on a regular day basis in the summer. Of course, they wear them to the festival too. I figured it would look like perfect on you, girl. I mean, I don't even look like you. Uh. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh yeah? Then maybe I'll wear it to the festival. Yua, do you want to go to the festival with me? Oh my god, I'd love to see you in a Yukata too! Huh? Wind chimes. Over there, they're hanging under the the eaves. Oh yeah! I didn't notice them when I, we arrived here. They're kind of relaxing. The eaves? Yeah, the eaves. Ah, okay. Like, at first I thought they were a bit old-fashioned, but the guests love them. I've taken a liking to them as well. I mean, I should get a wind chime too, I guess. <laughs> Though it wasn't really my idea. Y uh, Yuger's oh suggested I hang them up. Oh yeah? He almost seems like the boss of this place. A middle schooler. It's kind of sad. You hear that, Yuger's? Don't be ridiculous, that is not my name. <laughs> Mizuki owns this hotel, and I am really a twee. But like, the boss never opposes anything you decide on. It's hard to tell who's really in charge here. I don't think I've met the boss yet. You're better off not meeting him. He doesn't show his face around like guests much. He lives in Detached House, on the hotel premises. What's, what's a detached house? It's, it's just Yuki's personal residence. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, like, no one's even sure when he's in the hotel. Yua's expression darkens a little. It feels a little awkward not having met my boss, even though I've already started working here, but... The jingling of the wind chimes is truly wonderful. They perfectly suit the atmosphere of the hotel. So are we gonna take a good look at the wind chimes or talk a little y longer with Yua? <laughs> you just stand there staring at the chimes. <laughs> Grab controllers off, by the way, I think. It is- oh shit. Ah. Uh, I- I got it. Don't worry, okay. don't worry. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I, I need, it it's I, on. I'll grab it. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it for- I, it's Oh on. no! It's no, on. wait, the ad is tidy my chat. Hold on. No! There we go. Oh. Okay, anyways, okay. we're going to spend more time with Yua. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, like, I have to get going soon. I'll be back in time to take over this afternoon. Oh, good talk, Yua. Oh, okay. Oh, oh wait, Yua. 
Did you get to sleep after I saw you last night? Oh, like, yeah, of course. I slept like a little baby after finishing that soders. That's good, then. Okay, see you later! Oh no, I wanted to talk. Oh yeah, see ya! She didn't seem like she was doing very well. I wonder if she's okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? <laughs> Suddenly, my vision skews. Huh? What was that? I feel dizzy all of a sudden. Oh. My head hurts again. Like how I felt in the cafe yesterday. It's a weird feeling, as if someone's piercing my head. Oh wait, weren't we saving up before every choice, by the way? Yeah, we are. What in the world? There are like several options that kill you. <laughs> in this game I don't want to be an American. You <laughs> like, you want me to take over for you soon? Yua comes over wearing her uniform. Oh wait, my uniform does have a flower. Oh, but it's still uniform. early. Her <laughs> uniform, <laughs> still early, isn't it? The barbecue's today, right? You should get, like, changed and go. I think that uniform looks great on you, too. Oh, you think so? My uniform? Uh, oh. Oh. Huh? This is... Uh, I, I think... Photography. Yeah, it's, it's oh, the photography, sorry. man. Oh, sorry. I saw a good photo opportunity, and my fingers moved on its own. Don't be a pain, Mr. Sukuyomi. You know you're not allowed to take photos of celebrities without their permission, right? I'm not allowed to take photos of anybody without their permission. Haha. <laughs> 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 you're what? dressed up like that. You two really do seem like you're from some band. It makes for a lovely composition. What kind of reference is that? <laughs> it... <laughs> Okay. Okay. So my finger hit the button before I knew it. Occupational hazard for sure. Occupational illness, huh? I thought you said you take like your job. You, I thought you said your job was like to take pictures of nature. Humans are a part of nature. I'm gonna beat I'm your ass. You, it's an <laughs> occupational illness. Huh. A cat. A white cat sneezes through the hedge and walks up to Mr. Tsukiyomi. No, oh, white cat. It's, it's a cat. But <laughs> <laughs> it says walks up, I picture on two legs. Yeah. Oh, no. In any case, it's very friendly. It's very friendly. That's all we need to know. Shoo, shoo, get away from me. You're walking on two legs. That's freaky. <laughs> Huh? You don't like cats? Get out of here. I don't this like when they're walking like a person. It's not like I don't like them, but look at it. It's walking <laughs> on its hind legs. <laughs> it's very uh. cute. It's full this town's full of them. They're all weird. Some have like five heads and some are like <laughs> have human bodies. It's Wait. freaky. <laughs> Wait, what kind of cats are you saying? I, you know, speaking of which, I saw a ton at the shrine. Oh, like, hey, this is the white cat I told you about. The one in the dictionary? Yeah. Yeah, the one you mentioned this morning. No, the one in the dictionary. <laughs> okay. This garden gets, like, a lot of sun, so this wild cat sneaks in a lot. Wild cat, wild get cats your head in the game. I like how our brains are in the same place. <laughs> Isora sometimes feeds its leftovers too, so it's almost like it belongs to the hotel, like its sweet life is Zach and Cody. Then maybe we should give you it know a name. Those two people were actually the same person. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to name it Zach or Cody? I want to name it London Tipton. <laughs> okay. You're right. That never even I... occurred to me. That was a lie. <laughs> They're two different people. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was okay. The parent trap. Uh, oh. Well, since it's like white, let's call it Snowball. You could try Yo, giving it a little more thought, Yua. Like we could name it Zach from uh, from Sweet Life of <laughs> Zach and Cody. Let's name it Oni. We'll call it Oni Giri. Yeah. Come here, Snowball. I'm much younger than that old geezer over there. Hey! Hi! The cat responds. Not what? 
The cat responds to you as voice, glancing in a direction, but doesn't move. No good, huh? I guess it doesn't like its name. <laughs> Let's change on. <laughs> oh, you're a fan of the New Zealand team, the All Blacks, too, huh? <laughs> uh, you, uh, I, I can't even begin to tell you what's wrong with that. <laughs> I bet it would run right up to Toa. I know that we're in Japan, but you should be very aware of why that name won't fly. <laughs> really? I'm jealous. Hey, come here. Meow. Meow. Oh, I got something. <laughs> I take a marble out of my pocket and proudly show it to you. Where the fuck did you get that marble? <laughs> what the fuck? Isn't it pretty? Your kitty flew with the marble. <laughs> As I roll around my hand, the cat slowly walks over to me like it's interested. It stretches its paw out, trying to touch the marble. Oh, that's so cute. So, like, you just walk around with that marble on you? Yeah, it's special. It has, this, has it, its own picture, too. Yeah, I have it inside one of those protective charms. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like a tiny, glittering earth. I've treasured it ever since I was a kid because it's like I have a small universe in my hand. I used to keep it in a box. Someone told me a long time ago it's, that its color is called lapis lazuli. Like oh, from no. Steven Universe. Oh, universe. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. It actually doesn't have oh. a fucking... That, that's actually, like, reasonable. <laughs> I also like enchanting in Minecraft. I like the sound of the word lap, lapis lazuli. So I keep it in a small pouch when I go on trips, so I walk around with it. Lapis lazuli, huh? That sounds, like, romantic. Meow. <laughs> I hold the marvel up and the cat swipes at it playfully. Looks like the kitty's taking a liking to it. A squatting maiden is rather picturesque too. Oh, sorry. My finger moved on its own. I'm getting such wow. uh, uh, Higurashi vibes from this photographer. Ugh. Oh. Mr. Tsukuyomi, you're supposed to be taking pictures of nature, which is over a there. Where? Everywhere. Uh -huh. You're right. Well, see you then. Well, then, see you. Mr. Tsukuyomi leaves, scratching the back of his head in embarrassment. He just dives <laughs> into <laughs> the bushes. <laughs> 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 Let's, like, hope he actually gets some, like, pictures of the great outdoors. I am laughing too as I leave. <laughs> hey, you haven't changed yet. I need to help carry some things to the barbecue, so I'm heading out now. Obviously, I haven't changed either, like from yesterday. What? Did you only bring one shirt? Don't ask questions you already know the answer to, Green Day. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I'll get changed to come out as soon as I throw out the trash. I can, like, handle that. Uh, come here. You know, I'm going to need to throw you out. Hey, <laughs> everybody's so mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> so hurry up and, like, go. The guys can carry all the heavy stuff. Okay, then I'll leave the rest to you. I don't know who's fucking screaming. Toa? Toa, maybe? Um, <laughs> I turn around the sound yeah, to see yeah, Toa yeah. lying on the ground yeah. holding a lawn chair. Are you okay, Toa? Good thing it wasn't the food that fell. Looks like I was right to put him on chair duty. Ellipses. Aw. Yeah, CG. Hey, hey. Do we have enough meat? Let's get Hank Hill on this. There's still some left, so I can grill more. Then go ahead and grill it all up. If there's any left over, I'll eat it. Like, all of it. Do you have steak? Put some more charcoal and make sure the fire is nice and strong. Barbecues are all about how big the fire is. Charcoal? We're a propane household. Uh, um, the cabbage is for the yakisoba. I fell on the ground when I tripped over the head. It'll be fine if I watch it, right? Uh. Hey, is there enough sausage? There are still some left, so, uh. Oh, yeah. So tell me if you need more. 
Um, these are burnt, and so are these. Well, whatever. It's all the same in your stomach. I will eat all of it. Uh, the flame is on the on the white side. It looks pretty weak, and the, the meat in that corner isn't cooking at all. And that proves that the girl isn't uniformly hot, and that's Willie's dad. <laughs> um, the items for the hockey soba floated down the river when I tried to lift them. No! I didn't, didn't, we don't need oh. that many anyway. Oh really. no! Oh, oh no. no! Hey, look, honey, onions. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> River onions, it's a miracle! <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something? Hey, do we have enough corn? I cut up a bunch of corn. Everybody get your corn. Let's get cooking it. Corn. <laughs> hey, did you say we had corn? Because I really yeah. would like some corn. <laughs> All right, I was going to eat that meat, but now I also want some corn. Who took it while I was dealing with the burnt stuff? It's called charring, honey. It's burnt, but it's okay. Wait, wait, just wait a second about the burnt stuff. Uh, to get to me uh, the grill even way, let's just use the foil over here. The foil is dispensable when it comes to a barbecue. Uh, um, uh, we'll help Cat walk away with the yucky soap and noodles. No! Uh, we'll figure something else out, Brian. Oh, no. No. Toa, no! Was it the one with the human body? <laughs> Was it the one on two legs? <laughs> or the one with like five heads? Actually, there was really no way to work around that. Hey, would, would you all listen to me? Ouch. Ew. Who put this much charcoal in? I said we're running propane! <laughs> uh... I them. think it's Sasuke. Is yeah, this... Sasuke or whatever. Ugh. Oh. What are you guys doing? Give me a diet. <laughs> You're grilling is pathetic. Have you never barbecued? I always barbecue in the back of my cyber truck. <laughs> uh huh. You mean the fire that started on your cyber truck? Yeah. You mean to barbecue? I don't think yeah. that's supposed to happen. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Sasuke. You said you weren't coming. Actually, you fry eggs on the stainless steel of your thing. Well, I heard he was rocking, so I dropped by. I didn't show sure up. This is the best you can do in my... What a mess. Let me show you what a cyber truck owner can do. <laughs> Not much, apparently. With me? Wait a second. It's just a barbecue. You're supposed to kick back and have fun. Don't get so worked up, Sosuke. And please turn your cyber truck off. I can hear the non... Actually, I can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just a barbecue. This is why I don't want to come. Come on, give me the tongs. I'll show you. I thought you were going to say it's the bayou. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> okay, fine. And that's why I told you that the meat was getting overcooked on one side. And you were like completely boarding all of the meat. And that's just such a waste. Um, who actually cares? I'm taking care of all the burnt pieces, and the corn, and all the good pieces too, and like everything else. You guys aren't hungry, right? Uh, um, I heard that if you eat too much burnt food, then you'll get cancer. Hey, That's Toa, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that's not quite correct, Mr. Cusinada. It's true that carcinogens form a protein when they're cooked, but what about that actually getting cancer by eating butt food? Ugh, quiet down. You don't have to. You don't have enough utensils here. Nah, though, I suppose that's to be expected from an amateur. I got some utensils in the back of my cyber truck. <laughs> anyway, a barbecue depends on the heat yeah. of the fire. That's why it's the reason over that fire is necessary. First, you put the charcoal under the grill like this. Wait, you're telling me it's not a propane grill? Dang. No, god damn it! <laughs> Maybe that's why I haven't cooked anything here. And just put a bunch of <laughs> hot water over everything to make sure it looked like it was steaming. Wait a minute. I have no idea what you're saying. You, you like a, you're like a barbecue guru. 
Well, I have I obtained a license of a hot ranky barbecue with strokes. There's a license? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Soul's Gate is actually obsessed with a license, but he doesn't have a license. It's happening right at the end of project. It's insatiable curiosity. It's a devil. There's definitely such a thing as a barbecue instructor license. What? That's actually so That's funny. Your That's so funny. License. <laughs> um. Is there actually a license for that? Also, what were you saying about the food? Because I've eaten like two pounds of that so far. It's true. Am I gonna be okay? <laughs> Still, yeah. what a relief. Thanks for coming, Sosuke. It's not like I'm meant to. I just try to pass by my side, but god dang it. <laughs> well, you're definitely a huge help, I guess. Get out of the way, Zora. Let Sosuke handle it. Okay, okay. Uh, oh. It's all right. You can rest. Uh, see, there are lawn chairs over there. Go take a load off. But everyone's working so hard, it'd feel bad. Leave the cooking to the pros. Let's have some meat. Hopefully, like, not raw anymore. Yeah, let's see what he's got up his sleeve. It better not be a pamphlet on the Cybertruck. I'll help anyway, you, Sosuke. <laughs> the Cybertruck pamphlet says that you can get one at the Tesla and what works. I don't even know. think you can buy those in this country. No, that's fine. Go ahead and eat. I is that okay? Now that I think of it, did anyone tell the Supernatural Club administrator about today? I don't see anyone new here today. Uh, I wonder... Hey, did anyone post the, about the barbecue on the website? Everyone looks around, shaking their head. I guess not. Then the admin probably doesn't know about it, right? Nope. The admin probably never dreamed we'd be off having fun without the person who usually organizes everything. When you put it that way, uh... I do feel a little bad about it. Uh, we're terrible having fun on our own. You really feel that way, Amari? <laughs> no, it's kind of like a sorry, not sorry. You want to do donuts in my cyber truck? <laughs> I, I don't know if it's sorry, capable of that. Sorry. How old are you? Did you say something, Mr. Kudashida? Uh, uh, oh, it's nothing. <laughs> A no-show again, huh? Maybe the admin never intended to come from the start. Hey, Yuki, you got an email from the admin, right? Yeah, I told the doctor cafe. What was the email like? Was it like... Top ten weirdest emails you ever received. <laughs> right? well, maybe not like in my top ten, but maybe like top, top fifteen. I thought we actually some really weird shit during taking your uh, reservations at the hotel. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, that's why it was the top fifty. It was just a normal email. It did the purpose, matter of fact, we. So I am no cool what type of person the admin is. He sounds pretty boring to not even make top fifty. That won't work either, huh? I thought we could figure something out from it. Why don't we try replying to the email? We can get in my cyber truck, you can <laughs> reply to the email we, in there. We don't need the cyber truck for the email. <laughs> I see, uh... Writing a reply? Yeah, that could work. Hey, Yuki, take care of that once we get back. Um, but like, what did I write? Did I simply ask who the person is? Don't ask me, uh, I'm sure you'll figure something out since you're so smart. Oh, why must you always be so blunt and so, uh, and you're so crooked and so intricate? You're fine, I'll wait something up later. The administrator of the Okunazato Supernatural Club, the one who can convene all these members here. My brother browsed that website too. He'd always close the page as soon as they looked at it. Then he'd smile at me as if no, nothing had happened. 
Maybe he was hiding something. Maybe he met the administrator personally. Or maybe... The admin, huh? Maybe it's the Cybertruck. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? You look like you just had a deep revelation. Oh, it's nothing. What's wrong, Mr. Kushinada? <laughs> you haven't eaten very much. Uh, oh, this is my first over here, so I'm, I'm not quite sure what to try. Your first barbecue? That's unusual. <laughs> do you not have any friends like I do when I pull up in the cyber truck? <laughs> 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 That's mean, Sosuke. Plus, it looks like you've hit hit a person with that thing. Sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. And by the way, I haven't hit anyone in the cyber truck on purpose. Anyway, I do apologize. I, I, I do I do I do apologize. No, it's fine. They know it, they call it a steering wheel for a reason. Why does why does the cyber trucks look like that? Okay, um, Mr. Kushinada. When you're at a barbecue, first you cross your chopsticks like this. <laughs> then you stick them in the fire until they're hot. Then you put them on your forehead and make a food, and that'll make food taste better. What the hell are you talking about? Wow, that's like the perfect technique. I mean, you're pretty good at making stuff up, aren't you, Sora? Okay, now that we've all eaten, why don't we all go swimming? The current is gentle, not to go from here, and it's great for swimming. Why else would I bring up swimming? Hey. What? Did you bring a swimsuit? Yeah. I only brought, like, this one outfit, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kept bugging me to bring one. So we can choose our date. So we can swim with Pino, oh we can help Asora, we can talk to Toa, or take a walk with Sosuke. <laughs> I'm, I will flip a coin, I mean, not flip a coin, I'll roll a dice if needed, but probably someone could probably choose something. Yeah. Whoever we, we want to learn about the most. You want to learn about the guy with the cyber truck? <laughs> you know I don't want to do? What? You don't want to go into the cyber truck? <laughs> you don't want to take a ride in the cyber truck? If you want to go for a ride! Do donuts in the cyber truck? <laughs> if you, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, if someone doesn't grab the controller in the next like few seconds, I'm going to tell you something very funny that oh, the dice no. rolled. Oh no, it it, it, it rolled for oh, Sosuke, right? Oh, is it the cyber truck? It, it rolled an eight, so that means I'm taking a walk with Sosuke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're taking a walk with Sosuke. <laughs> no! I'm not interested in playing in the water. I'm more interested in doing donuts in my cyber truck. <laughs> I'm thinking of taking a uh, cyber truck to those rocks over there. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're you're going over to those rocks, Sosuke? I don't think your well, cyber truck can do that. Truck candy. <laughs> Yeah, there's a craggy path over there that will make for a nice challenge inside of a truck and off roading. <laughs> what? <laughs> Would you mind if I came along? I'm a little worried for you. But you, well, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind. Oh, good. Then may I come with you? Sure. Here, here's the ox cable. Put it on whatever you want. <laughs> We climb up the upper reaches of the river. The slope is gentle, but after walking for about 10 minutes, it gets harder and I run out of breath. This is tougher than I thought. God dang, you, you don't exercise at all, dude. Are you okay? We can turn back. No, I'm fine. I can keep going. Anything to keep me away from that cyber truck. Well, okay. Well, I mean, my cyber truck ain't that bad. I mean, if you if you look, if you think about it, it's an electric view. There's no need to push yourself. Let's rest over there. Okay. We sit down on some nearby rocks. The uh, gif is uh, pretty nice in the background, ain't it? <laughs> Very nice gif. We were, we were listening to the Love Never Die soundtrack. And it's like we're God like, damn it, no! God, <laughs> son of a bitch! So Ski takes the thermos out of his bag and starts chugging. Oops, I didn't bring anything to drink. Oh. 
Sosuke notices he's the only one drinking and gets an uncomfortable look on his face. A weird silence hangs over us. Um, can I have a sip? I love to share something with you, but this thermos doesn't come with a cup. Oh. The lid pops open when you push this button, therefore letting you drink from me, that would be, you'd be on indirectly kick, 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 kick. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, I got, I mean, oh, uh, god damn it. Is he trying to say it'd be like an indirect hiss? Oh, I have, <laughs> I have an idea. Open your mouth. What? Huh? Are, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the <laughs> Cybertruck. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. There you go, like that. Good. Now I'll lift the thermos up like this. <laughs> so scared. Don't put your fingers in there. They'll oh, get wait, chopped off. Wait, wait a second. I get the feeling I'm gonna get soaked. Really? I'm pretty confident in my pouring skills. I'm also a bartender, I'll have you know. <laughs> well, I'm not. Besides, drinking it that way wouldn't change the fact that I'd still be kissing you indirectly. I mean, you're already drunk. You've already drunk from it. Ah, you're absolutely correct. So while you don't know much to have to attack, blurting that out while I was intensely trying not to say it. I'd rather share an indirect kiss and get soaking wet. You know what? That's fucking fair. It's strange. The more you keep calling it an indirect kiss, the less obscene it sounds. You know what's uh. not obscene? My Cybertruck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you put water on the Cybertruck, it'll die. Don't worry about that. I can drive through the rain just fine. <laughs> obscene? Just give it to me already. Hey, what are... I take the thermos, put it to my lips, and drink. It's a sports drink. Ah! You drank quite a lot. That was, Sorry, that it came was out faster only, than I expected. That was the limited edition Gatorade flavor. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Whatever. What is important? That's, is that your hydrated? Hey, chat. Remember the hydrate, right, fuck? And now, before you dehydrate. He says, taking his thermos back from me, he stares at chat. What's wrong? Oh, I just thought I should redeem hydrate in the <laughs> chat right now. Oh, nothing. It's just kind of never mind. He says, closing the lid. I'll be honest. I don't like sharing drinks with people. And this is the first time I shared one with a g g g g g girl. <laughs> <laughs> I may, may, not, may, may not look like it, but I'm actually a bit of a knee freak. You should see the inside of my cyber truck. It is perfection. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will aware how much of a nuisance that is. Uh, oh, is that right? I can't drink from a cup someone else has drunk from, and then I spies people who stick their chopsticks directly into a serving bowl. I can't stand people who freely take freely grab a bite of my rice with their chopsticks when we're out, either. A grad school pot is the upperclassmen pull beer and ran to cook and try to get me to drink it, but I'll never drink from a cup that's not mine. That is just healthy, <laughs> safe partying, folks. <laughs> You're pretty serious about it, huh? Uh, sorry about that then, except for the last part. That's completely normal and safe. <laughs> no, I, no, I may be telling you this, but honestly, I will myself would like to get change and get like the change again beyond it. Just like how my cyber truck changes. <laughs> it changes? The, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, no, it's not a transformer. Shut up. So there's no need to be strangely conscious of it. He says he opens his thermos and drinks from it. Oh, Sosuke. He takes a breath and wipes his mouth. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Let me put my thermos away. <laughs> uh, I'm, done being, I'm done being a neat freak. Well, at least to taking my first step toward getting over it. Like that one gave by Bennett Foddy. It seems like quite an accomplishment. It would be great if I could drink from cups other people than have drunk, drunk from besides you, but... Huh? Oh, nothing. Shall we head back now? Sure. Actually, it's called... Not the shore. It's a river. <laughs> Thank goodness. It was so terrible. What was terrible? Everything. Um, we tried to find you. Oh, he noticed <laughs> it when he just noticed that you were gone. And you ran into the river out there thinking that you drowned. It was so deep that Hino almost drowned himself. So Isora and Yuki rushed him after him to pull him out. What? Really? 
I mean, to be fair, I checked the Cybertruck first, but you guys were nowhere to be found, so, like, that was the only other logical place, was, like, the bottom of the river. Uh, oh, oh, why are you giving me silent treatment? Anyway, he was, he was very worried about you. Okay, desserts ready. Now that everyone's here, let's dig in. Indeed, he's always desserts are always exceptional. No charcoal necessary. Hey, Soski, you're not gonna tell everybody about <laughs> Cybertrucks, are you? <laughs> and how to make dessert. No, but I always deliver Uber delivers the desserts in my Cybertruck. You know what I I just as a self drive and there she goes. Sorry, <laughs> but that's outside my jurisdiction. It did look like there is a Cybertruck on display in Japan, but not for sale. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I made my special pudding tots, so if uh, y'all had uh, complained about them, uh, I would have left right there and then. Then and there. Izora! Can you make me some coffee too? What do I look like, a chatty? <laughs> you can do that yes. yourself, oh Mr. Kushinata. How about a tie? Uh, oh, I'm actually rather stuffed, thank you though. Was it from the rocks you ate when you ate shit? Hey, Come the... on! <laughs> oh! I, I, I wasn't saying anything. You've been falling all over the place. <laughs> been thinking you're a bottom feeder after all this or something. Come on, don't be like that. Are you on a diet or something? Uh, I think this is the cop. So whoever's the cop. Uh, hey, Freddy's the cop. And that's me. Hey, could I uh, speak with you guys? Ugh, that voice belongs to... I turn in the direction of the voice and see a policeman beyond the guardrail of the road on the top of the embankment. Hey, would you all mind if I ask you some questions? Come over here. He he's a policeman? Hey, Cap. Hey, Cap. Come back with a warrant. <laughs> oh, if it isn't Yashu, what are you doing here? Do you need something, you fucking pig? <laughs> Oh, hold on. Sorry, I lost the voice. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I threw you off there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'll be down there in a second. Uh, oh. And I don't need a warrant. Don't oh. worry about it. He yells, springing off from the ground. He, he jumped. Cicadas. Is Sora? Oh. No way! <laughs> ten years old! Oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe I got ten years old! Fuck off! He draws a beautiful arc from the air and he floats, floats down from the embankment and lands on the ground perfectly. Or not so perfectly. He twists his foot and lands awkwardly on his butt. Oh, ow, ow, ow. That kind of spots. Well, that was... Amazing. Uh, I didn't think it was possible to turn one's ankle like that. Like, oh are, are you good? That was a pretty good entrance for you, Zoo. Although it would have been a lot for you if, if you turned more than just his ankle. <laughs> hey, Yuki, I told you to stop making fun of me. Seriously, quit it. It gives people the wrong first impression. Let me introduce you. Oh, that's- sorry, that was- I thought that was me, <laughs> that was my no, it's not you. <laughs> oh, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Yasu, who I mentioned yesterday. He may not look like much, but he is the town's policeman. Hey, 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 what's this? He may not look like much. That introduction makes me feel like you got something against me. <laughs> well, I uh, what? Damn, kid. Whatever. <laughs> I'm- Yasuhisa Kukuri. As you can see, I'm a police officer. This assignment is only temporary, though, so don't hold it against me. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, oh. 
Oh! Do, do you want me to read that? <laughs> do you want to? Go ahead. You know me, uh, at best I'm the life of the party, at worst I'm... <laughs> oh my kid, I'm perfect in every way. Yup, I'm the hero of Okunazato through and through. Just me, the hero. He wrote that in personally oh. into the dictionary. Oh. There goes Macha. I oh, can oh. find Macha. Macha was oh, so uh, stunned by my Welcome wrote. back, Macha. <laughs> <laughs> he left, and now he came back. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I'm out of here. With the only where we stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm actually an assistant inspector at police headquarters, and well, they wanted me to get a good look at how normal citizens live, so... The headquarters, huh? Ugh. Oh. Okay. Ugh. You want to read my dictionary? <laughs> I've been stationed in this town for a limited time. You've already been here for one whole freaking year. So when are you gonna go back to the headquarters? Like, are you even allowed to go back to headquarters? Or are you sure that they just don't want to get rid of you? <laughs> yeah. You're really annoying. You know that? Do you have a shut up? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, so he did come from the central police office. But he's probably been exiled. Exiled? I'm not sure he did something that got him stationed at Okunozato. That's a little extreme, man. <laughs> hey, uh, how could you? Is he right? Are you a fucking no. pig that got exiled? No. I mean, well, uh, <laughs> more or less. I mean, do I really have to tell you? Seems that Yasu's father is a pretty high ranking police officer. Which means that he only became a detective because of his connections, so he's fucking useless. Can you stop but... airing my daddy laundry? You're such a brat. <laughs> but idiot son Yasu couldn't meet hey. his father's expectations. Basically, he's in a rough place, not knowing if he'll ever be able to go back. You're so freaking dramatic, you know what? When I get back to headquarters, the first thing I'm gonna do is arrest you and have you questioned and try it as an adult. Just for the hell of it. So, um, what does an idiot policeman like that want with us? Uh, I'm not an idiot policeman. I'm an idiot son. Get it through your thick heads. That doesn't make you sound any better, you goddamn pig. And you have a cyber truck, so I don't want to hear it. Um, he may be kind of, like a lot older than us and kind of decrepit, uh, but you are perfectly <laughs> fine dropping off with princes with him. What the the crap is? <laughs> Yuki, ain't it weird for someone else to say that? It's only cool when the person says it for themselves. I ain't that much older than you. I mean, I am, but you know. Then go ahead, say it. Uh -huh. Huh? Like again? <sighs> Fine. Uh, well, feel free to drop all pretenses and. Nice to meet you, idiot son. My name is Yasu. Yasu! Ugh. So, did you come here, Yasu? I don't believe we're breaking any laws. Are Riverside Barbecues outlawed here? Uh, no, no, that's not it, actually. Someone was just found collapsed on the ground farther up the river. Looks like they've been hit by a cyber truck. Ugh, a whale get- uh, god dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the local vigilance committee are trying to identify who it is right now and who could own such an ugly ass car. <laughs> Do any of you know anything? Seriously? When were they found? Uh, about an hour ago, I think. Uh, looks like they fell to their death. I mean, you know, it kind of looks like they got smacked, but we're thinking they probably floated downhill last night. Fell to their death? So they're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like dead dead. Oh, I mean, <laughs> shit. Uh, I let that slip. Uh, so, hey, can you pretend dead you dead. didn't hear that? Oh my god, a dead guy's here. <laughs> no, no, they're just like a little... De it's fine. It's it, fine. It sounds like they're a lot dead. No. Nah. Downhill means they must have come from the mountains, but that's strange. 
Isn't it forbidden to go in the mountains here? Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be forbidden, but you can access them from practically anywhere, and it looks like a big truck crashed through all the trees, so... <laughs> Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Wait, though. How do you know about that? Huh? Oh, a customer told me. He said the area's always been forbidden. He also said it was he wasn't really sure why it was forbidden. A guy from the city like me doesn't know anything about old stories like that anyway. You're all staying at the Fudan Khan Hotel, right? Sorry, but uh, would it be okay if I questioned you another day? You received Yuzuki's permission to do that, right? Yeah, you have a permit. Of course I did, kid. Of <laughs> course I did. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Who do you think I am? Who are you? I, I, I'm, I'm me. You're an idiot, yeah, so he's a... <laughs> Well, Wow. It's like, I'm looking at a natural monument to airheads. You're like, top five. This is wild. He looks really stupid for a cop. And cops are really stupid, you know. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, uh, this um... might be Yuzuki? Maybe. That's enough, Yasu. Yep. Oh. They may be useless, but they're still my guests. Quit bothering them! Oh, there you are. That makes this easier. So, if I could come back another day... Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey, Yuki, you're up. Go on, introduce him. Oh, great. Uh, everyone, this is... Top Yugi. And I can introduce myself. Oh, go right ahead. I'm Yazuki Murakumo, the owner of the Furukin Hotel. Uh, Jesus oh, Christ. oh my no, goodness. No, no. <laughs> He's the owner? Then why does that. Does that make him my boss? First off, Yazu, you can leave now. Huh? Well, leave, but Yuzi, Yuzi, hey, baby, baby, I, I still need the... Yuzi? Did he just say Yuzi? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh wait, no, what? that in fucking that hell. It's, it's fucking Yasu! <laughs> Do you want me to read this? Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> That's right, when we were kids, Yuzi used to call me Yasi. You know, uh, we were like, what do you call it? Like, uh, like, like twins, I guess, or something like that. And yet, when I come back to town for the first time in forever, what do I get? Yasu, quit calling me that, because I'm a big grumpy pants, bro. Hey, don't that sound just like him? <laughs> I must be a genius. Anyway, I thought he was being mean, but he just gave me a big frowny face and said, when are you gonna grow up? <laughs> Bang, I'm good. I thought I could make a living doing impressions. Oh my god. <laughs> Yuzu, stop. Never. Yuzi, baby, did you hear what happened? <laughs> you have a lot of guests at your place this week, so I'll have to question them all, systematically. If I need your permission, Yuzi, baby, then, uh... Damn it. That's enough. Get out of here, you dunce. Don't ever call me that again. Yuzi or baby? Which one? Because I'm oh. using both. Oh, yeah. Whatever. That's gonna be really hard to do. Whatever. Just leave already. That's an order. He says, glaring at, at Yasu with an icy cold stare that's practically devoid of all emotion. Uh, okay. See ya. Oh my. He really looks depressed. Cicadas. <laughs> Forget everything he just said. You have nothing to do with this. And Yuki? Yes, Julia? Who are the new hires? 
Here, let's get out. Um, it's nice to meet you. I met him when we first arrived at the hotel. He's the one who suddenly opened the door. So, who hired them? It was Miss Usano's idea, but I allowed it. I've lost a lot of staff members who know who's. Who, you know, who who knows whose fault that is? If you have something you want to say, why don't you come out and say it? I am. So, you're the Unaz Okunazato Supernatural Club. I've heard a lot about you from Yuki, but... <laughs> How much free time do you have to come all the way here because of that ridiculous website? And your first get-together is some happy-go-lucky barbecue? What does that have to do with the Sabrut Supernatural? You're eating dead animals. And you smoke them out where it looks like a ghost could have come out. I don't know. We just want to have a good time. There's still some dessert left. You want some? My desserts are pretty expensive, you know? That's unnecessary. Hey, w wait a second. What's with your hand? It looks red. Huh? Oh, this? The fire got a little too big, and I ended up burning myself. Oh, are you worried about me? Oh, thank you. <laughs> you think I care about your injury? It won't get in the way of your work at the cafe, will it? If you slack off, you'll be penalized immediately. Got it? And that will put you where? One less employee? Good. Go ahead. <laughs> Fucking let's all quit. I bring a we should all quit mentality to the workplace, you know? Mm -hmm. Like literally. I'm looking at any employer looking at this stream right now. Yeah, what are you gonna do with you if you penalize you want to be only employees? Oh, so you're all worried about is if I'll be able to work. I told you, this is exactly what he's like. Um <laughs> Oops, that was a really bad timing. Um, since you came all this way, would you like something to drink? We got water and water and water and water and water and water. And Coronas. <laughs> you. He growls threateningly, so I just clam up and nod my head. Why are you suddenly working at my hotel? Uh, well... I didn't give you permission. I just hired a bunch of useless employees. Hiring more useless people won't do me any good. You should quit before you meet the same fate. Hey, wow, you're coming on a little strong there, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if you're the owner or what, but they're the ones who asked us to help. I mean, I didn't really want the job, but... I'm here now. If you're going to fire us, then I'll make sure you pay us for the work we've already done, plus a penalty for breach of contract. That's right. I watch Judge Judy. <laughs> um, no, no. Please calm down, guys. Yuki steps between them. Uh, Yuzuki, I talked to you about this yesterday, didn't I? You left me in charge of staffing the ships, and I haven't done anything wasteful. Uh, they both work really, really, really hard, and they've been a really big help, even though it's only been one day, and maybe like half a day at that. <laughs> uh, Mr. Okage Sushi, please cease your sword. Please uh, zip your pants back up. 
Uh, they say that in Kendo oh, it is necessary to become calm and composed once your <laughs> pants are zipped back up. Tina, why the fuck did she take it, take it out? <laughs> Listen, I had to jump in the water, and I only have one <laughs> outfit, and I didn't want it to get ruined by the river water. Anyway, you know I've never done kendo once in my life, right? Every it's fine now. Don't worry about it. Uh, indeed. Swords don't have sheaves in kendo anyway. Uh, they're completely made of bamboo. Are Just you really gonna dictionary how... right now? Yeah. <laughs> what a nerd. A freaking nerd. Yuzuki, it sounds like they're calling for you up there. Alright, I'll leave the rest to you, Yuki. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> the skaters are back! <laughs> no. Holy oh shit, my God. they're back! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dear God. It Ooh. was him. Kumo family is very well known here in Okunozato. I heard that they ruled the town long ago. Even now, their legacy remains. Most large establishments here are run by the Murakumo family. Yozuki is currently their only son and heir. They seem like a difficult person at first, but, well, he is a difficult person, <laughs> as you can see. Um, he's like the top three worst. Either way, Yasu's father and Izuki's father have, uh, how should I put it, political ties. Disgusting. They've known each other since they were kids, which is why Yasu can speak to it at him that way. Although it doesn't seem like he enjoys being called Yuzi anymore. He's too prideful. Seems like he didn't learn much from his parents. So, what do you think of the idiot owner? Huh? Uh, nothing really. Is it really okay for me to continue working at the hotel? He's like a dick. This is just my personal opinion, so I apologize. But it seems to me like that like, Yuki is the one who actually runs the hotel. Since it doesn't seem like Yuzuki will be there all that often, I don't see the issue. Like, I don't see the issue in my cyber truck. I don't have a super mature opinion like Sosuke. I just hate him. A um, lot. I mean, he be treating you like shit in the employee and in, in your in work, work is a, uh, you know. I, I, I get what you're putting down. Uh, he's super sadistic. A while back, he lectured me for a full hour on how many strawberries I put in my shortcake. And then, because of that hour, the shortcake wasn't able to rise properly. Fucking managers, my dude. Yuki hadn't made it in time. I would have whacked him good with my frying pan, you know? You get him the good old to you get him the good old Sora whack. <laughs> but that's enough of that. Uh, it's not good to speak ill with someone behind your back. You fuck, man. I don't know if that dude does have a back. He's probably watching us right now. <laughs> oh, God. Next time I'll say it through his face, who knows? He'll fire me, then what? He has no one fucking employee? What are you thinking? I don't know. Oh no, what well, concerns me more is what you two said about the accident. That person uh, who fell. You made oh, it yeah. sound like the person had fucking died. And it didn't seem like he knew much about it and how they died. Let's cut our activities short for the day and head back to the hotel, shall we? Yeah, the sun's already setting. It's a good time to call it quits. I'll let you all know if I hear any new information. If anything happens, we'll all meet at the cafe. Okay. Time to collect my stuff. There, there's a me. There, I collected it. <laughs> Could you all help me clean up? 
Absolutely not. I mean, haha, <laughs> JK. We'll have to take everything back. Hey, Kushinata, grab that table. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, why did I ask you? <laughs> Stop, but I'm gonna excuse myself here and take my cyber truck home. Hey, can, we can put it all in the trunk of the cyber truck. Hold on. No, look, it'll be too dirty in the back of my cyber truck. I'm a neat freak, so <laughs> we're, I'm gonna get out. <sighs> I guess you did all the. Fit. Yeah, I, I think you're just kind of bullshitting, but uh, you did do all the cooking after all, so good work, I suppose. Yeah, see you later, fellas, non cyber truck owners. <laughs> wow. He comes, he cooks, okay. he leaves. He comes, he cooks, he leaves what? every time with this guy. Is it just me, or does it seem more like a chef than I do? Laughter echoes around us and they watch Sosuke leave. The sound of the cicadas start starting to buzz <laughs> to follow after him. Oh, they're, they're just starting now, are they? Are they green guys? Yep. <laughs> By the time we return to the hotel, it's already 5 p.m. Jesus Christ, the silence is deafening. Oh, blessed silence. <laughs> what should I do? Um, so this is like, I, I forget. There's like a couple of voices in the, like, in the common rat that literally just amounts to like, do you want to view a scene or not? And I think this is one of them. We're like, we go on a walk. <laughs> so we're just gonna it's go on like a walk. It's like scene or no scene? Basically. So scene oh, or okay. no scene, so go for a short walk. Cool. There's still some time left before supper, so I decided to take a walk around the exterior of the hotel. Ah, ah. <laughs> so I can see the sand still around the Rincon Hotel as the sun sets in the summer sky. The cicadas are back. Ah. The sky is so vast and the air is so clean. It wouldn't be bad living in the country. As I stretch, I hear the sound of water coming from the direction of the garden. That all sounds like a fountain, but not quite. It's so pissing. It's <laughs> the garden. <laughs> oh no, they are pissing. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> As we get closer to the sound of water, I grow to someone <laughs> softly humming. That tune. Have I heard it somewhere before? I don't want to be a big idiot! <laughs> it, it's full well, of wow. hit song by some famous celebrity. Oh, Tawa. Oh my god. I fucking. He's pissing. No. <laughs> anyway. Hey. <laughs> What are you doing? Going for a walk? Yeah, that's a free time, so I figured I'd wander out of it. Do you hear someone pissing? What are you yeah, doing, I, Toa? I, no. Um, I, I'm just cleaning the wire mesh on the grill. There's a lot of food particles sticking to it, and um, I just couldn't leave it be. So you prefer to have things clean, huh? I'll help you. Oh, no, no. That, that's fine. I, I mean, I was no help at the barbecue earlier. Oh. Yeah, please, let, let me do at least this much. The water's cool, too, so it, it feels good. <laughs> you worked plenty, didn't you? you? You brought everyone chilled drinks from the river. But, uh, then my truck slipped and I dropped them. This guy had to help me. Yeah, but I thought that was really nice of you, especially after you dropped all the onions down the river. I, uh, nice? M me? I think you're much more. Uh, uh, never mind. Oh, hey, Toa, what are you humming just now? Was it American Idiot by Green Day? <laughs> Love Green Day. Oh, um, you, you heard that. Uh, that's kind of embarrassing. I know it's a foreign song and anything. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that tune somewhere before, like, on my parents' like CD player. What song is it? <sighs> Oh, it was one of those hit songs, uh, like, not an idol group, but it was like a group of guys playing in a band, and, and they would sing it. Well, I know it, so it must be a pretty famous song. Oh, I know, why don't you sing it again, Toa? No, no, no. <laughs> that, that, that's okay. I'm, I'm kind of tone deaf, so it'd be a little bit too humiliating. Oh, yeah. I guess it's not really a song you can sing just because someone tells you to. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Um, maybe us meeting here again is fate. Huh? 
Uh, oh, no, I, I was just talking to myself. Don't, don't mind me. Um, if you don't want to, it's, uh, it's okay, but... Yeah. Would, would you go with, with me? Uh... You don't want, want to? Uh, what, what are you talking about? Oh, oh, um, right. <laughs> I forgot the word. Oh, God. Sorry, I, I was saying this thing out in, in my head and I thought that I, I said it, but I, I guess I just ended up fumbling my line. Even though something like that would, would never happen on a, on a TV drama. So, are you okay? No. <laughs> I mean, yes. I, I, I'm fine. Please, let, let me do another take, please. An another take? Yeah, um, I get... Okay, cool. Do you know that there is a summer festival in town tomorrow? Summer festival? Oh uh, yeah, I guess there is. Um, would... Would you want to go with me? Uh, I, I mean, if you don't want to, that's... Uh, I... Oh, that's what you're trying to say. Thanks. You're so funny, Toa. I... I, I am... Yeah, I enjoy talking with you. Uh, oh, but if we, please. You, you don't have to reply. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, I'll, I'll be waiting on a bench at Okune Park tomorrow at 6 p.m. And meet me there if you'd like to go to the festival with me. Uh, okay, I, I see you, maybe. <laughs> Oh, Toa! You left the water running. So nobody was pissing. You didn't need to be so nervous about it. I mumbled to myself, turning up the hose. Woo! What should I do now? Okay, so we're gonna walk a little longer. I still have some time, so I decided to stretch my legs a little longer. I continue my walk, going as far as the riverside, a short distance from the hotel. The breeze feels pleasant. Suddenly, I see someone walking out the front of the hotel. Oh! Oh, I, I, oh, wow. Oh, you caught me in a bad time. My cyber truck broke. I mean, just uh, ran out of gas. I mean, uh, god Ah, oh, you did the barbecue end without incident. What's wrong with your cyber truck? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, uh, oh, nothing's yeah. wrong with a cyber truck, okay? We I mean, stopped right after you left. I see. Still, I never thought they'd all be so unfamiliar with a barbecue. I mean, I'm a barbecue master, but... Don't you think that maybe you know too much about them? Look, shut up. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Well, yeah, 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 I'm mean, sorry. Uh, you may be right. This guy seems a little easier to talk to than he was yesterday. Perhaps because he opened up to me, which makes me kind of happy. So, Escape, where'd you go after you left? <laughs> like, well, I mean, <laughs> I did donuts in the forest with my cyber truck. So, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't go on to a special. I wanted to try climbing up the hill but, and do some other stuff like doing donuts with my cyber truck. What are you doing here all by yourself? Pissing by yourself, handsome? <laughs> I mean, I, I think I heard someone pissing earlier, but I wasn't oh, pissing God. myself. Was that you? No, it wasn't me. I was fixing my, I mean, taking care of my cyber truck. <laughs> There's still some time left before dinner, and I ate so much of the barbecue, I thought I'd try walking off. You're a fool. I, I see. Why are you blushing from that? I don't know. <laughs> when I rub my stomach, the Sosuke looks down at it and blushes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I hear some, game. <laughs> I hear something like the festival for music from far away. Oh, that music takes me back. I, I do like Boulevard of Broken Dreams myself, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love Green Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that right? Green Day, Day Green. Yeah, there's a summer festival tomorrow, so they're probably practicing for it. I mean, even they got Green Day over there, that's pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm a huge fan. My parents were huge fans, too. I, I can tell. <laughs> You're looking forward to the festival? Yeah, festivals are fun, aren't they? There's goldfish scooping, target practice. Goldfish scooping is, uh, uh, uh fun. You, you don't think so? No, I, I, I guess it is. 
His reply sounds suspicious. Are you not going to the summer festival, Sosuke? Me? Go to the festival when I got a cyber truck? Are you going? I, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to go, I guess. Oh, yeah, then I'll go with you. Oh, shit. <laughs> huh? I mean, I can pick you up in my cyber truck. <laughs> Let's meet at the bookstore, 6 p.m. Little case shop. No dress code, wear what? comfortable shoes. <laughs> Bring as much money as you like, but shall we both bring the equivalent of three three hundred? Only three hundred. Yeah. God damn, I'm a cheap steak again, snacks. <laughs> Sosuke, they sell a ton of food at the summer festival, so I don't think we need to bring snacks. I know, I'm joking. Okay, with that aside. Uh, wait, Sosuke, I got invited by somebody else too. Ah, oh, sorry, I got it. I'm not going to my cyber truck. See you. For the children, remember that. For the children. Are those your thoughts? Those are your thoughts? No, my thoughts are all cyber truck related. No. Your cyber truck self drove and hit a child. No. Oh, hell yeah. Plus 500 points. So this guy quickly walks, gets in a cyber truck and drives away. Was that a joke? After I finished dinner with Hino, it's already past 8 p.m. I drink some cold barley tea alone in the cafe. Huh? Where's Hino? He left earlier to take a bath. I told him it's not good to go in immediately after eating, but he said he reeked of burnt meat, so he wouldn't listen to me. Wow, we really said that? He's more delicate than I thought. Well, how was dinner? It was great! Never thought I'd be able to eat a bagna cow all the way out here. I didn't know you were gonna be able to say it. Yeah, <laughs> good to hear. Hey, what kind of food do you like? I know I wouldn't be able to say it. If I can get the ingredients, I'll make it for you. Huh? Really? You don't have to do that. I'd love to, of course. I'm the one who creates the menu, after all. I can make anything as long as it's not barbecue. Then I'd like some desserts. I'd love it if you could make something that's a little different. Uh, if you like chocolate, then I'd recommend something baked. Like brownies or... Good. <laughs> Good. But never... <laughs> neither are very difficult. Oh, hey, what about a sangria? It's a drink, but I can put a bunch of seasonal fruit. Orange and lemon are too normal, so, uh... Maybe something like a peach or something, uh, yeah, or a strawberry, yeah. I'll make a strawberry and peach and strawberries and <laughs> green. <laughs> oh, sorry, Soria, I kind of can't have strawberries. Damn. What? You can't eat strawberries? Yeah. How oh, you have a Neapolitan? <laughs> yeah, that always surprises people when I tell them. Are you allergic? No, it's not that. Just I've always hated them. I'm not really sure why. Well, that doesn't mean you can't have them. It just means you don't want them. He's fallen silent. Isora? Huh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I see. Sorry. Fuck. Strawberries are the reason I'm still alive. I uh, feel very offended at your dislike of them. Oh, oh, you don't really need to apologize. It's my fault for not being able to eat them. I'd like to get over it someday, but... Yeah. You seem bummed out all of a sudden. I'll eat anything other than strawberries, though. Then I think of the uh, Dorian. Uh, yeah, sure. Sangria. I'll think of something else. Uh, there's nothing else you want. You can eat, right? You can eat, right? I really no. need to know that as a kid. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else. Then I'll make you the dish I'm absolutely best at. Uh, I think you'll like it. What is it? I can't tell you right now. We'll just have to wait and see, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey. It's fun talking with you here in the cafe and all, but shut the music. <laughs> this is my workplace. So it's hard for me to relax. Cue the different music. I'd like <laughs> to talk with you again. Just the two of us at some place different. Huh? Just the two of us? You mean... Hearing that all of a sudden makes my heart go wild. I have no idea Already? what kind of face I'm making. 
He looks into my eyes. The summer festival's tomorrow. Do you want to go with me? Huh? The summer festival? Wow, it's almost like I've heard this twice already. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's a yearly event in Okunzato. <laughs> I'd like to go with you. Just the two of us. Just the Just two of us? Jaden. It's not nice to spring something on that on a girl, is it? That's not true. It just surprised me a little is all. Oh, yeah? Uh, sorry. Guess it was too sudden. Then let's do this. If you're okay with it, could you wait in the lobby for me at 6 p.m. tomorrow? If you come, I'll tell you a secret. Wait, what? A secret? Yeah, a secret just for you. Okay, guess I'll go take a bath. See you tomorrow. Don't worry, don't forget to meet me, okay? Huh? Oh, um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Later. Secret? What kind of secret? Is he just trying to hint at something? He invited me so casually, it's hard to know how serious he is. But that's right, tomorrow's the summer festival. Oh, is that that- is that late already? I should go- I should go take a bath, too. I guess it's a good change of clothes. I throw a purse over my shoulder and put my hand on the doorknob. Just then. I hear a knock and instinctively draw my hand back. Uh, yeah? It's me. You know? Yeah, hear, it's me. I hear Hino's familiar voice. I put my hand back on the doorknob and open the door. Uh, what is it, Hino? Uh, you're not gonna ask me something, are you? What? <laughs> why Why would you think that? Sorry to drop by all of a sudden. Were you about to go take a bath? Yeah, I was. Can you not sleep or something, Hino? I mean, my clothes still kind of smell like meat, so it's a little hard. Oh. I, I only brought one outfit, so... Yeah, I know. No, only... <laughs> <laughs> Only elementary schoolers go to bed this early. No, I just wanted to talk with you about something. Is now an okay time? Oh no. Right now? Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to come in? It's definitely not like a, a special question or anything, but is that okay? I hope it's a very normal question between friends. Yeah, it's totally fine. Yeah, it's a it's a totally normal question that has nothing to do with like an event that's probably happening very soon. Oh. Anyway, no, um, I'll I'll stay out here. If I go in your room, it'll be like uh like weird. Why would it be weird? We're friends and only friends. See, that's th anyway. No, nothing. Oh, oh, that thing I wanted to talk to you about. Well, either way is fine, but. I I don't really mean it's fine either way, but oh god, this is like um like <laughs> what, Yeah, no, keep go ahead. What's wrong, you know, you're acting kind of strange. You haven't even mentioned a list yet. Oh my gosh, Green Day, you read my mind. I was just oh, no. going to say this is like top ten <laughs> most awkward conversations I've ever had in my life. <laughs> anyway. You know that there's a summer festival tomorrow, right? Oh, god damn Surely it. Surely you know. <laughs> no. Well, if you're free, would you like to go with me? Why are, why are you being so formal? I'm not trying to be formal. It's just, if you've made plans with someone else, like, I sure hope you haven't made plans with, I don't know, perhaps three other love interests in this totally not Otome game, you probably wouldn't want... Well, whatever. I hope I am your number one. <laughs> anyway, the summer festival is tomorrow. If you want to go, come see me at six o'clock. Why is that written differently than all the others? That is bothersome. <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Good night. Uh, wait. Oh, he wasn't listening. None of these men listened to me. They just set the time and walked away. Tomorrow's a summer festival, huh? Someone else already invited me. What should I do? It's almost like four oh, men. Day. Four men <laughs> invited me. 
What are you in the Tome game? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That was a good bath. I pour a glass of cold barley tea for myself from the cafe and sit on the couch in the lobby. I could have sat at a table in the cafe, but since I'm here on vacation, I decided to sit in the lobby and see if anyone passes by. But there's absolutely no one at the front desk, let alone pa passersby. If I hit the bell on the counter, I'm sure you or Yuki will appear. But they're plenty busy without having enough help, so I feel guilty calling them just to talk. Having nothing else to do, I find a paper fan lying around and fan myself with it. It's so hot. Maybe I should have worn the Hukata I got from the hotel. I mutter myself, looking up at the dome ceiling. I have to investigate my brother's case tomorrow, and also I've oh, been yeah, invited. Huh? I've also been invited out by four men at the same time in different locations. Oh, no, it sounds like a. <laughs> Suddenly, the front door flies open. Oh, I hope that's not guy number five. <laughs> oh, oh. Ellipses. Ooh. I think it's a novelist. Uh, good evening. Ellipses. Did, did you get just to get back? You were out late. Yeah. Uh, good talk. Good, good, good talk. This is awkward. I can't make small talk. Mr. Karasuma asked me a question, breaking the silence. Did you know that they just announced a spin-off Rune Factory game? Uh, I I didn't. Actually, what what good news? <laughs> Is there anything else you wanted to say to me? <laughs> do, you, do you work here at the hotel? Uh, uh oh, y yeah, I I do. <laughs> Such an unexpected question. I'm clearly bewildered. Okay, then answer me this: What's the name of the owner of this hotel? Huh? Oh, the, the owner? <laughs> Wait, Puzzle Cross? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, Ten Ten? <laughs> Answer me. <laughs> he suddenly yells, making me quiver in fright. Uh, Yuzuki? It's Yuzuki Murakumo? Why do you want to know? What's this Puzzle Cross game? <laughs> Yuzuki, they just announced it ten minutes ago. <laughs> Mr. Karasuma seems to think for a bit. <laughs> Yuzuki, that's it. Huh? Gomenasari, excuse me. <laughs> he looks at me crossly again, then disappears towards the stairs like nothing happened. He crossly, purchases... like Puzzle Cross. <laughs> I stand there alone, feeling like I've lost all my will. I sat on the couch for a while. <laughs> what? <the fuck>? what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's the morning. It's nine. That was nice. <laughs> We're super busy first thing in the morning again. After I finish oh, it is nine. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> After I finish yeah, a load of laundry, I return to the lobby. Yuki's at the front desk. Oh, are you are you tired? Are you sleepy? Huh? No, not at all. I mean, I I just had a really weird conversation. I can't can't sleep. Stop thinking about it. Oh, really? <laughs> you don't seem very energetic. No, I I slept really well, so I'm in peak condition. Oh, that's Actually, good. I couldn't stop thinking about things last night, and I didn't get too much sleep at all. Whoa, that took. There's a summer festival, like, and I was invited by four men. And one of the world was up with Mr. Karasuma. There's a new Rune Factory game, apparently. I was thinking oh, about that for a bit. I act cheerfully and pretend that I'm fine. Uh, by the way, the summer festival is today. I know. I know this, Yuki. Are you Are you going? <laughs> no, why are you so surprised? I thought more people just asked you to, to go with them. Uh, no reason. I was trying to, like, you know... I just was shoving those thoughts into my mind palace where I don't have to think about them anymore. Oh yeah, I do that too. <laughs> yeah. It seems like he's seen right through me into my mind palace, making me a heart jump in my chest. The summer festival here draws quite a crowd. It runs from the main street all the way up to the 
there's wine and there's lots of food and games like all kinds along the way. Wow, that sounds like fun. Festivals are exciting no matter what age you are. It seems like you're in great demand. You have lots of people vying for your attention. Oh, oh please don't mention that, Yuki. <laughs> great demand. Oh, yeah, you didn't know? It's, it's something of a tradition here to invite the person you're in love with to uh, the festival. The three of these men I just met yesterday. <laughs> She's you're... been here a day. <laughs> Well, it may be a tradition, but it is the country. It should be just an excuse for the young people to go on dates all over the town. Oh, really? But you said the summer festival began as a way to subdue the revenants. Maybe how it started, but it, it's definitely got nothing to do with that. Why, why would you think that? Oh, okay. Along those lines, I may point out that Christmas and Valentine's Day weren't originally couples' holidays either. Seasonal you know, holidays change with the times and become whatever people want them to be. I guess you're right. And with how attractive you are, I am sure that you've gotten asked to the festival by a lot of different guys. I don't want a middle schooler telling me this. <laughs> Not sure about this. <laughs> oh, really? Honest, we that suspicious reaction makes me think that I'm exactly right. Uh, Yuki, that's enough. Uh, oh, hey, don't mess with my hair. Oh, it's um, embarrassing. Hatsukashi! Hatsukashi! As I paint Yuki's fuck. head roughly, the, what my the eyes fuck was suddenly that? fall on the couch <laughs> in the lobby. What? In the lobby? What is happening? <laughs> Someone's sitting on it, holding a newspaper. It appears to be a guy, but I can't tell from here. Oh yeah, I have business with you, Yuki. Um, could you please watch the footage for a little bit? Uh, oh yeah, sure. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I will be back shortly. Just like me. Very good. <laughs> Yuki disappears. And the only ones left in the lobby are me and the person on the couch. Who could it be? If I get a better angle, I might be able to see see from here. Uh, I don't... I don't know who this is. Who haven't we met? I don't know. This might just be like random person number two or whatever. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, good, good morning, sir. I say, turning around. Oh, it's oh, <laughs> god damn it, god damn it. Sorry, oh, I had it. I had it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you, uh, why are you right here? Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. Are you busy right now? You're not gonna ask me to the festival, are you? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you for a photo op. Oh, it's okay. Do you need nature. something? No. Humans are nature. Uh huh. Yeah, this is the photo from two days ago. The only is. Uh, Oku. Okunizato. Okunizato. Supernatural Club's first meeting. I got it! Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh. You noticed, huh? Yes, your eyes are red. That happens to a lot of people when you use flash. That always happens to me. They turn red in every picture. The kids in my elementary school even started treating me like I was a rabbit. Are you from the moon? No, I'm not. Uh, wow, really? It happens that much? Yeah. Hey. Could I ask you to do something for me? It better not be a fucking date. Oh, what do you what do you want? No! Sorry to ask this all of a sudden, but are you free tonight? I'd like the, you to model for me. It's not at 6 p.m., right? It's not 6 p.m., right? Model for you? Yeah, model for some pictures. The idea hit me when I first saw you. I just knew I needed to photograph you. I don't know. I've never done anything like that before. I don't think I'd be a good model. 
Oh. You just have to act naturally. Don't overthink it. I'd like to snap some pictures of girls looking beautiful in their everyday lives. My theme is natural moments like that. All women are queens. That, wait, that's it. Oh, my theme is natural moments like that. Uh, Mr. Sukiyomi, I thought you said you came to Okunozatsu to get take pictures of nature. All natural pictures. Of uh... course, my expertise is in landscapes, but in art. Once an idea hits you, you have to act on it. I think I should be free to peer through the viewfinder. Press the shutter button and discover what I want to take a picture of. And split hair and to split hairs a bit, humans are a part of nature, aren't they? <laughs> Hypothetically. That's true, though I think that's a bit of a stretch. If something I want to take a picture of is before me, my finger moves on its own. Call it the shining finger. What? <laughs> the reason it comes after that. That's how art is. That's wonderful. Uh, sorry you went through all the trouble to ask me, but I have plans tonight with four men. Is that so? Oh, the summer festival. Did someone invite you? Yeah, sorry. Four of them, actually. Hmm, I see. If you have a previous engagement, there is nothing I can do. I have to forget it for tonight, but let me know when you're free. I will, thank you. No need to thank me. I haven't done anything yet. Well then, I'll ask you again another time. Goodbye. He left, but I can I really be a model? I was we about that. I'm back. Oh, Yuki, welcome back. Uh, that was Mr. Uh, uh, me White. Uh, what were you two talking about? Huh. Oh, nothing in particular. Like, about how the summer festival's today. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. You really, really suck at dying. But what? Why? Uh, no, I, I don't hate that about you. Yeah, it's, it's kind of endearing. I'm not faulting you for being a bad wire. If you're bad at wiring, it proves that you're an honest person at heart. Hmm. Huh. Those types of people are all very trustworthy, mm. so you should huh. be proud that people can rely on you. That doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> so are you okay here now, Yuki? I can manage the front desk now, thank you. Okay, then Then what should I do? Uh, good question. Um, the couch on the person disappeared, that's weird. <laughs> the couch disappeared too? <laughs> the couch on the yeah. person? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, Yuki, they stole the couch. Oh no. Huh? The person reading the newspaper and the couch is gone. Seems Yuki is wondering about him <laughs> and the couch as well. Oh, that's right. Um, I, I have a message for you. For me? Uh, yeah, it's for Yuzuki. He wants you to head straight to the manager's office. Oh no, I hope this isn't, this isn't number five. Did you ask him what he wants from me? I hope it's not anything to do with the summer festival or anything. I really don't want to think about that right now. Uh, no, I didn't. When Yuzuki has business with someone, he'll only discuss it with them. Anyway, you should probably head over. Hey, uh, did anyone grab the food by the entrance? Oh, what's the matter? The fruit that was there is completely gone. I was going to use it to make today's desserts. Oh, it seems that Mr. Tsukuyomi was also around. 
besides the two of us, then I don't think that he would have taken off with the flutes. Uh, maybe a cat from the garden or something took that? Although I don't know how that would work. Seriously? A cat gourmets? Uh, a cat's gourmets or something? For some reason, I, only the strawberries are gone. Ugh, jeez. Now I have to rush down the main street to buy some more. Sounds like Isora's having a rough time. Uh, you're in the same boat. Don't forget to go see Yuzuki! Hey, don't scare me. Anyway, I head straight right there. Oh, uh, be careful! The manager's office. Belonging to the owner of the hotel, Yuzuki. Oh no, I'm kind of nervous now. <clears throat> I take a deep breath and stare straight at the door. Come in. Please excuse me. You're excused. Oh, you called for me? You're asking me that? If I didn't call for you, then why are you here? He's snapping at me. I feel like I'm about to cry. I'm sorry, it's nothing. I figure he'll probably want me to sit, so I approach the couch. You may stay standing. Okay! Does that mean he doesn't have much to talk to me about? No need for small talk. Let's cut to the chase. I have something I want to ask you. Oh, me? Oh, jeez. Yes. What is your purpose? That's awful philosophical, sir. What is- I, I don't know my purpose. Why did you come here? What do you intend to do in this town? I'm not sure what you're asking. Don't try and buy time. Answer me, little miss. Free time. I feel like I'm about to cry again in just harsh words, but I tell myself that I need to keep it together. Why are you hanging out with that suspicious club when your friend invited you to come here? Sorry, but to me, it's obvious that you have some ulterior motive. Am I wrong? No. <laughs> you don't need to answer that. What did you come to this town to do? That's the only question you need to answer. Uh... Well, now it's your turn to talk. I don't have an ulterior motive. I was invited to the club's meeting and I came here to have fun with my friend. You know, like, vacation, having fun, having barbecues. I have no idea what you're trying to imply. I... Stop lying. For your own sake. I'm not lying. What's going on? Are you trying to get me to say something about my brother? Tell me what your true purpose is here. Alright, so we got an I'm honestly just on vacation and an ellipses. Hmm. However, we want to react to that with. Hmm. If someone in the chat doesn't decide, I roll a funny dice. Yeah, and it, it causes funny things to happen. It causes funny things to happen, like Visible Cross, Rune Factory coming out. Oh! <laughs> okay, Mon, what are we doing? Hmm. Hmm. What do we want to say to our boss? Does that mean ellipses, Mon? Does that mean ellipses, or are we on, are we on vacation? Are we getting or, or... Yes, okay. I'm sorry, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I... Ellipses. Ellipses? I came to attend the club's meeting. That's all I'm here for. I see. It seems this has been a waste of time. Fine. You might go. Get back to work. Um, why did you want to ask me that? Did you su suspect me of something? You have no right to ask me anything. I told you to go. That's not fair. You can ask me, but I can't ask you. Listen up. 
In this hotel, my words are absolute. If you don't like that, then go ahead and quit. Ellipses. If you understand what I'm saying, then get out of my sight. Why did they talk to me like that? Did I do something? Nah, maybe. The owner of the hotel, Yuzuki Murakumo. Does he know something about my brother? <gasps> Oh, welcome back! I see Yuzuki <laughs> kept it short as usual. Yeah. Oh, was he would you? Huh? No, that's not it. I mean, he was, but that's not it. Yeah, oh, wee wee, you wee wee look pretty unhappy. What? You're kidding? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, but I'm not completely kidding. You look kind of depressed. You're pretty easy weed to weed. I always wear my emotions on my sleeve. I need to be careful. He always looks so calm and collected Yuki, not like a middle schooler at all. He worked so hard here at the hotel, they even put adults to shame. It's really admirable. You don't yell at me randomly and accuse me of things I haven't done. But only warned by watching others work. That kind of thing comes naturally to me. Of course, I've lived my whole life in this town. Really? You never thought about leaving? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're a kid, so you can't really just leave, but... Oh, never. I mean, I'm also, like, only 14, so you don't really know. I'd much rather stay here and let the world know how great of a place this place is. It's kind of cool. I want more people to know about Okunuzato. Wow, that's awesome, Yuki. So you're the one who came up with the idea to get a celebrity to have a concert here. No, it wasn't my plan to have such a famous celebrity to come here. The talent agency, Alex Sui, suggested it. They approached us first, saying that they wanted to use the middle school gym. Huh, wonder why. I've got no freaking idea, but since I'm the student council president, I automatically became the acting chairman. I have to handle almost all of it by myself, yet again. Although, I'd be delighted if Okunozato becomes even slightly more well-known as a result. Since it's my responsibility, I would like it to make a success. Do you understand now that I'm not merely some child? Of course, I mean, I never thought you was merely some child. You're just like a really, really uh, sassy child. Huh. I, I mean, I, I'm joking, haha. -ha. Oh, and uh, and one more thing. I, I have a dream, you know. Oh, what is it? Um, you see, sometimes there's a really big library and there's <laughs> lots of books. And then I read all of the books and then there's a big lion and he sits out front and he'll sometimes <laughs> tell me stories. And the tiger poster. <laughs> and the tiger poster. <laughs> You know what, Yuki? If that's your dream, then I'll take you to my local library sometime. I don't think we'll have the big lion that'll tell you stories, but we can see what we can do. Oh, wow! Really? That would be so cool. Yuki's eyes glitter. He's so mature, even though I'd never see him smile so genuinely. Uh, don't, don't tell anyone about that. Don't, please. Don't just laugh at me. Okay, I won't. For some reason, talking to you calms me down. I feel like I now have the energy to get through the rest of my work. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I said so earlier, but it truly is a great help to have you around. Mr. Susano and I couldn't handle everything by ourselves. Well then, shall we finish up the last few items on our list? We finished our work by the afternoon, so I decided to walk around town with Hino. You want to investigate what happened to your older brother, right? You know, like, the subplot of this whole thing. <laughs> I can tag along, so let me know if there's somewhere you want to go. Okay, but first maybe we should learn more about the town. I don't really know what's all here. 
that's another subplot, but okay, <laughs> you're really gonna be so nonchalant about it. Well, if that's what you want, if you want some side quests, then that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna side quest around here. That's fine. Hey, hand me that book. Hey, hand the guidebook I bought yesterday over to him. He flips through it. Have you been making lists in here? No, I haven't. I can see that. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, it doesn't have anything useful in it at all. I mean, there's not a single list. Not yeah. no tiers, no yeah. numbering, no nothing. Mm -hmm. It's not even entertaining. If I had to categorize it, I'd say it's like the top 15 worst history textbooks I've ever read. It's no use. I've lost all interest in it. What? You've given up way too easily. Let's just walk along Main Street since it's the center of town. There are a lot of places we haven't been to yet and a ton of people are out. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea for today. Okay, let's get down to business oh. and walk the entire town from end to end. The bridge here bridges the, the bridge here bridges the <laughs> town with the outside bridge, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Right? Were you trying to be funny? <laughs> Did you laugh? No, I'm just confused. Then, uh, no, I, I didn't know how else to say it. All right, we'll start from this end of the bridge that bridges everything. Just then, Hino stiffens up. Look, he can't believe his eyes. Huh? What's wrong, Hino? Look, look at that. I really hope we get out of this dead space soon. Hino points at... <laughs> Okanazato's oh. mascot, the Okana hey, Panda. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> How dare you? I'm Okunazato's so sorry. mascot, the Okana Panda. He sprints toward the costumed character. Wow, this is my first time seeing the real thing. It's even cuter up close. Hey, don't just stand there. Get your camera out. Huh? You, you want me to take a picture? No, I just want you to take the camera out for no reason. Of course, <laughs> get a shot with me and Okune Panda. Oh, right. Okay, say cheese. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, now shake my hand with your stubby little paws. And if you could maybe sign my shirt with your stubby little paws. Does he even have a signature? This is my favorite shirt. <laughs> also my only one. <laughs> You need to buy other shirts, Hino. You can't just keep living like this. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Green Day. I'm happy like this. <laughs> Thanks so much, Okune Panda. I'll come back again later, so wait there for me. It only vaguely smells like meat now. <laughs> Okune Panda waves goodbye. We wave back as we walk away. Man, it's great that it doesn't talk. If it yelled, I'm a happy panda, or something with a face like that, and it detract from its cuteness, I would have to dock points. Some unofficial characters have taken the world by storm that way, though. Yeah, but they're entirely different. Totally different ranking. I'm not so sure, but whatever. I am. Whoa, that was awesome. Now I'm all tired out. Why don't we drop by a cafe or something and take a break? You know, we just got here into the void. I thought you were going to help me look around. Is there really anything to see in the void? But anyway, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oops. I don't think the actual Okone Panda would grace us with its present in the void of all places. <laughs> all right, let's go to the main stores and ask about your brother. Now that he knows it's finally gotten serious, he and I attempt to ask around about my brother. But the only thing that becomes clear is that no one remembers what happened to my brother. Game crash. Uh -oh. oh, oh no! <laughs> no fucking way. Well, oh, um, no. there were signs. The time. That there were signs that was happening because there was supposed to be a background. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, this is strange. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is a background. Yep. All right, oh, let, my me, God. let me. Wild. Let, let's boot that shit back up. <laughs> In the void. <laughs> I love the void. I love the void. The, the void is so good. Is that it's good? my favorite place in this whole game. The void, yeah. The classic uh, Seven Scarlet location.
Absolutely. Seven Scarlet. Jesus Christ. Seven Scarlet. Seven Scarlet. Okay, we'll be skipping some stuff. Wee! Wee! Oh, Whee! dear God. Oh, no. It's fine. Uh, what is the skip button the again? Skip there button. we go. Non stop! Non stop! Wee! Wee! We've gotten a crash every stream so far, right? Yeah. So one last one? Okay. One every stream. And look, back one's hey, the back. Legs. back. Okay, where's the panda? There we go. Okay. Cafe. Okay. About your brother. Yeah, yeah. So look Ask about your brother. Okay, nobody's remembered the brother. Hell yeah, to... brother. Yeah, it, it crashed because it was trying to transition the background, but there wasn't a background. <laughs> Oh yeah, my god. Basically. I see. Yep. We end up returning to Farinkan Hotel, not having gotten anything but the picture of the Okane Panda. The evening moon rises again in the sunset sky. Is this going to be the end of the scene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, We can just wrap up the comment route now. Because like, we can just end oh. it on the choice. Oh, oh this okay. is the... Oh. Yeah, it's, it's about to end. Yeah. Right, okay, God. let's do it. Oh, sorry. Is it too, like too tight? No, I'm fine. I'll tie it off like firmly so it doesn't get loose and like fall off and there's like a wardrobe malfunction. Thanks, ow. Come on, like brace yourself. And like done. This looks so good, girl. Woo. Sorry to make you come all the way up to my room. You can't help me get dressed, Yua. That does not give me any problems at all to help you get dressed, girl. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's for you after all. I tied a, like, a cute knot with the sash, too. Go on and take a look in the mirror. Yeah. Cute. Is that all you gotta say? <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the Yukata, not me, okay? Oh, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> Ha ha ha. Popular <laughs> girls have it, like, so rough. Quit it. It's not like that. You're not going to the festival, Yua? I still have, like, work left to do, so I'll go when I'm finished with that. I don't know if you'll get to see each other there, though. Aww. Someone, like, invited you there, right? Four men, Yua. Wow. Four men. Why can't yeah. you be, like, so on? Five men. <laughs> the fifth one just yelled at me. Nice going. Don't worry. I won't ask who it is or how many you're going to try to go on a date with. Um, what about you, Yoa? Have you decided who you're going with? Let's not talk about that. They are, like, already taken. Oh. oh, not that nobody invited me or anything. Yeah, it's better not to talk about that stuff. Yeah. Okay, see you. Like, have a good time. Thanks, Yoa. And she's gone. Oof. I sigh a little, having been left by myself. What should I do about the festival? <gasps> I, re I remember how Hino said see you later when we parted earlier. Oh, he's at 6 p.m. Maybe we could all go together, but that wouldn't work. It'd make me feel even guiltier. Oh my god, this is just monster prom, uh, <laughs> monster camp. Yeah, still. The summer festival, huh? Yeah. I wonder if my brother went to it a year ago. I remember that subplot. Oh my goodness. Well, I look out the window, the cicadas begin to buzz. Begin? Again. <laughs> They're st they've been <laughs> buzzing, <laughs> though. After <laughs> having, <laughs> having fallen momentarily silent a few seconds what? ago. That's a lie. That's actually a lie. It's <laughs> like children who quickly avert their gaze and they've been caught eavesdropping. They don't give a shit. <laughs> There's no way. They only give a shit if Yuzuki's in the room. Hands on the clock read 6 p.m. <gasps> All right. Oh, <laughs> shit. All right. <laughs> Don't make me roll the dice, Chad. No, I, we're actually like, we are going with Hino right. this time. Remember, we're going recommended order. Recommended yeah. order. So, Hino. Number one, go with Hina. Seven Scarlet. Oh. Seven Scarlet. <laughs> Seven Scarlet. Yeah, they roll it. Crash. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just end it here, because this is the beginning of Hino's route. Woo! Recommended route! Yeah. Recommended uh, route. The order... I'm just going to have a save right here, because this will be useful for later. Um, yeah, it will. It sure will. <laughs> um, but... Uh, 
the, the order is going to be Hino, then Isora, then Toa, then um, Sosuke, and then Yuzuki. So that's the order we're going uh -huh. in. Yep. Uh huh. I see. Hope you, yeah, the hope dick you guys saver are ready last. for how short Cybertruck route is. Oh my god, <laughs> Yuzuki's route is so fucking short. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there, there's like. There's like two routes that are like obnoxiously short. Oh. It's it's wow. really funny, actually. <laughs> um but yes, we can date our boss. He's the secret route. Oh dear nice. god. Yeah. Yep. Isn't he the most appealing secret route you've ever seen? <laughs> he sure is sure exactly is. who I'd pick for secret final boy. I That's know, right? For sure. <laughs> like you you'd think. Yep. You would think that they would have like the appealing boy or like the poster boy being the secret guy, but nope. Nope. It's, nope. it's, it's your grumpy fucking, boss. It's the grumpy boss who yells at you. <laughs> How everyone, romantic. Yeah, everyone wants to play until they get to the grumpy boss who hates you. <laughs> mm. Yep. What idol? Who's an idol? Uh, idol? Huh. <laughs> ah, gee, that's interesting. Uh, an idol by the per like Including the person who drew art for Uta no Prince Sama, why would they include an idol in this That's game? That's really so crazy weird. that that happened. Yeah, yeah, right. Um. Yeah. So, again, so next week we're gonna be starting Hino's route. It's gonna go really, really quick. It's probably only gonna be two streams. All of them probably yeah. gonna oh, be okay. Two streams or less for every Seven route. Star, like, oh, wow. short as fuck. It's really short. Like I didn't only two it. streams. It's a mystery, so I guess. I can understand. Yeah, the mystery of there's a lot of details Amigara they gotta put into. Called. Hmm. Wait, no, that's uh, Chinji Ito. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so today, uh, today we're gonna go read. <gasps> eh. 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 Uh, 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 ducks. I'm just gonna go with ducks. Thinking's hard right now. Quack. 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 Yamero. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah. we'll see you next week for He Knows Route, and it, it'll be a time. There's a lot of things that are gonna happen. Yep. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Yeah. Top 10 most dramatic <laughs> plot <10. twists. laughs> <laughs> oh wow i'm so excited oh no anyway. there will be so many lists oh goodbye no. everyone anyway bye everybody bye bye, bye. 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 bye.